Welcome back to the show. We have an amazing total lunar eclipse coming up this weekend, and we could think of no better person to talk to when you want to find out about any kind of eclipse, the best way to view it, when to view it. We are joined by Gary Boyle, the backyard astron astronomer. He he joins us again on the show. How you doing, Gary? This, I mean, every time something like this happens, do you get just as excited each time? I get excited on any clear night, but especially events like this, that brings people outdoors to look at the nighttime sky that people have been looking at for thousands of years. Gary, let's talk about, um, you know, the, the basics to begin with. When is it going to happen and, and what time and, and what's sort of the best viewing times for a, th this total lunar eclipse? Well, the eclipse begins this Sunday night, May 15th at 10.27 p.m. Eastern time, a little earlier as we go out west. Mid eclipse will be at 12.11 and it ends just around 2, uh, 2 a.m. in the morning. Gary, what is, a, for those that aren't familiar, what is a, a, a lunar eclipse, and especially, you know, a total lunar eclipse? Well, an eclipse really is when we have the sun, earth, and moon lined up perfectly. Now, this doesn't happen every month because the moon has a bit of a uh, tilt in its axis as it goes around the earth. Uh, right. Around the earth. So the sun projects a shadow in space as anything. Uh, Tree sets, we see a shadow above, sunsets, we see a shadow behind the tree. But with this slight tilt, sometimes the full moon is above the cone of darkness, sometimes below. But this month, it's right on. And Earth sees about two lunar eclipses a year and two solar eclipses per year. Okay. And, you know, when we're viewing it, it's, it's unlike a, a solar eclipse. Talk about the difference between the two, because I don't think we necessarily need to take any precautions, do we, for a lunar eclipse? No, you're quite right. This is the full flower moon moving into the Earth's shadow. So lunar eclipse is very safe, but solar eclipse is when the moon passes in front of the sun. Now we need solar filters and a, a, lot, of, a lot of education up there because people still think that they can can look up at, at the sky for a second and a half, but still that's enough to cause uh, some eye damage. Okay. Well, you mentioned, you know, this, uh, you, you, you look to the skies any time of year, Gary, but for, for those people, because, you know, now that we have the nice weather, it's beautiful stargazing time of year for people to get out and enjoy the stars. What are some of the tips you can give to people that are looking at, at stargazing and perhaps, you know, kind of introducing it to themselves for the first time? Well, first thing that people will notice is as soon as the sun sets in the west, look east on, on a clear night, and you'll see a dark band. That's the, actually the Earth's shadow rising as the sun is setting below the, the horizon. Uh, of course, now we have the moon out. The moon's always great to look at through a telescope or binoculars. But on clear nights when the moon's not out, it's cottage season now. If you can get away to the cottage or, or campsite, the Milky Way now is coming to view early and earlier. It's best high in the sky around July and August. But now in the morning sky, we have the four major planets. We have first bright Venus, then Jupiter to the upper upper right, then Mars and Saturn. And any cell phone app will show these in the morning sky, but you'll have to wake up around 5 a.m. Okay. I was going to ask you about that. So, you know, technology, you obviously encourage people to use the technology that they have at hand. Now, are there any apps that you would recommend for, for people to use? Well, for iOS, I use Sky Guide, okay, and it's on I think four dollars to, uh, to 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 download, and still it's it's great. You can go a thousand years in the past, in the future, uh, any time. Set your location on where you live, and you can click on stars and planets. It has a raft of information. Wonderful place to uh, to learn the sky. And if not, people can always uh, send me an email through my website. Yeah, light pollution, ha, you know, has really created a, a difficult time for, for people to, un, unfortunately, to, to stargaze in, in the city. But for those people, you know, that can't get away, um, do you recommend they try to, you know, go to their local park or, you know, maybe, you know, just enjoy, you know, going down to the Ottawa River, those kinds of areas where, you, where there's less light pollution? Uh, definitely, yeah, around parks um, and, and the water and anywhere safely. Uh, try not to be out alone at two o'clock in the morning. I really wouldn't do that. But uh, but 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 again, uh, you can do a lot in the city too, using your your phone. Start to learn some of the major constellations like uh, the Big Bear, the Big Dipper, because the constellations are the brightest stars, and it's a good way to start in in the city. Because once you get in the country, you you can get lost. Yeah, absolutely, uh, Gary. What is the best time of year for people to to stargaze? 
any time of year. Really, eh? Oh, twelve. There's no difference from year, season yeah. to season. No. No. No, no, definitely not. In summertime, obviously, because it's warmer, but you have bugs. In December, you have no bugs, but then you get beautiful Orion, the winter constellations, the brighter stars. Uh, there's just a wrath of objects, especially if you have a telescope. Uh, the sky's the limit. Let's put it that way. Right. Uh, Gary, remind everybody, uh, you mentioned this Sunday, May the 15th. Um, the beginning of, of the lunar eclipse is when? At 1027 p.m. Eastern Time. In fact, the times are on my website, okay. wondersofastronomy.com. Excellent. Gary, always a pleasure having you on the show. Thanks so much for joining us and uh, enjoy that lunar eclipse. All right, take care. Hey, don't go anywhere. We'll be back with more daytime talking beer right after this.